Yo, what up, what up, what up, and welcome back to Pinoy News. Man, listen, I'll be honest with you. This isn't my usual content, but if you're here because you can't stand the show Call Masters, Rust, is, Rust of Riches, I'll be honest with you, all right? You know, I usually do, like, you know, things about Machiavelli and political stuff and things of this nature, economics, geopolitics, but my first love has always been cars, all right, legitimately, I was a car guy when I was an itty bitty kid in the library, just with books full of cars on my lap, just reading about exotics and muscle cars and things of this nature. So for those of you who you nerds and you don't understand car culture, you're probably going to understand that this is kind of part of the culture wars. All right. Netflix has begun to make reality shows about cars. Well, they've been doing it for a little while now and I complained about it before. Right. But you know, I mean, it's getting worse. So like I wanted to show y'all what's going on as of recently. Right. So oh, hang on. Let's, let's, let's start here. This is the crew from Gotham garage. All right. And this crew here, you know what I'm saying? As you can tell, nobody likes any. I mean, the guy with the beard is pretty, pretty interesting and funny, right? But ultimately, everybody's here for this bitch, all right? <laughs> Legitimately, there's nothing hotter than a female with a wrench in her hand. Now, look, she really doesn't actually work on anything. You know what I mean? I've never seen her actually do anything ever in the entirety of the show, right? Like, a, like she's supposed to be an engine specialist, and when they need something done with the engine, they usually bring a dude in to get it done, right? It, it's a weird thing. It, it's a very strange thing. She's like, oh, this is a boat motor. I don't know how boat motors work. It's a V8, right? It's a 427 V8. It's a, it's a, it's a Ford motor. Like, yo, it's a motor. There's no difference. Anyway, right, yo, look. So, this show kind of aggravated the shit out of me this week, okay? Right? And the reason why it aggravated the shit out of me this week is because of this abomination. Now, this is supposed to be a replica de la Haye, all right? So... Basically, it's supposed to stand here and actually like be something that's really cool. But the problem is, is that like this is a $60,000 knockoff. Now, for all y'all who aren't car nerds, right, who don't care about cars, I apologize. But we're going to stand here and we're going to point out some of this stuff. Okay. Legit. Right. Because like, you know, you think things are normal until like you take a real actual look at it and you notice that you see the cut mark in the corner. You notice that the, you know, I mean, the fit and finish isn't what it's supposed to be. Right. Like everything's pop riveted together. Right. You look at the front end and it kind of looks remotely normal until you notice that you can see underneath of the headlight and you notice there's nothing behind the grill. And look at the fit and the finish on the bottom of the thing. Right. <sighs> These are the kind of problems that you don't have from an actual Delahaye like this, right? This is a beautiful car, right? It's perfect. It probably is going to run you around like two or three hundred thousand dollars to get into something like this. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, right? Same with these type of things, okay? These are custom cars by a custom car maker who gives his shit what he's doing. What Netflix does, though, on the other hand, is gives us shit like this, where you can't take screenshots of Netflix, right? Which is retarded. I've never seen anything that you can't take screenshots of, right? Like, they're like, I don't want you pirating the, the, the whatever. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not pirating it. I'm showing you, like, how bad it is. <laughs> you look, because I have the right to review things, you know what I'm saying? As a... As an entertainer, as somebody who has, you know what I'm saying, a platform and makes content, I have the right to be able to do this stuff, right? And when you see this shoddy of work, right, this is my problem. This, I wish I could show you how bad this really is, right? Because legitimately, literally, it they laid the sheet metal over other sheet metal and then just tacked it, right? They didn't even weld it. They didn't sand it. They didn't bondo it. They didn't clean the joint up at all. <laughs> like that is unacceptable from people who call themselves car makers. Now, this is another car that they made in the previous season. 
in case you didn't notice, you look at the window right there and you see like what looks like you can see under it. That's what you can do, right? And then if you look down the side of the car, see when people talk about having a straight car, right? It's important to have a straight car and a straight body panel. For those that don't know what body panels are, very simply put, anything on a car that basically you can bolt and unbolt as one piece, right? So like, you know, you'll have like the front quarter panel, which is kind of like goes from like your headlight to where your front door is right and that'll be one piece and they usually sell them as like one piece and sometimes you have to you know i mean replace parts of them because of dings and dents and things of this nature you know i mean it's just basic body work 101 on any vehicle because we've all for the most part had a vehicle or are gonna have a vehicle or we'll, you know what i'm saying know somebody with a vehicle because this is america and we don't have public transportation <sighs> this abomination they also made in this season right in the first episode of this season they made a mercedes drift car where they took it out right and decided to test out this mercedes drift car i didn't take a picture of that i thought i did i thought i got that apologize right but they stood here and they took out this mercedes drift car right and when they did they sat here and basically cut it as the dude was wrecking completely over and over again and like the first time they tested it out, they literally blew out the rear end out of the car, right? Which was interesting that they left that in there. But needless to say, <laughs> right, you have to be able to replace pumpers and, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, quarters and, you know, the flares on a car. They cannot be custom. The reason why they cannot be custom because, like, you're going to bump into shit because it's a drift car, right? And that's what drift cars happen. Like, accidents happen when you're pushing it too hard. And I'll be honest with you. Like, I don't I don't see any of these individuals taking delivery of these vehicles, right? Legitimately, I just, I don't see it happening, right? <sighs> because I'll be honest, right? They don't do bad work when it comes to, like, low-end muscle, right? When it comes to, like, just normal American shit. But when you start stepping your game up into really serious custom work, I I wouldn't trust them with that, right? That's kind of the mentality. And as, as a savage individual, as somebody who, my first love was cars, all right? It always has been and always will be, right? I love vehicles. It's like I, every time I get in the car and I step on the gas to go down the road and I hear my V8 roar, right, it, 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 it it excites me and I get the goosebumps every day, no matter what happens, because I'm weird like that. Okay. I just, it just is what it is. And to have somebody pander to your passion in that manner and then just completely disrespect it, it is, it's wrong, right? It really is wrong. Like to stand here and go like, I know for sure these things are bad about this car, right? They're bad. They're very, very bad. And, no one would accept a vehicle on this level who knew it. Like they sold it to a photographer and there's no photos of it on the internet. So they didn't sell it to a photographer, <laughs> right? Cause photographers take pictures of their cars because it's a piece of shit, right? Don't lie to me. It's important that you don't lie to me because like I know, and we all know, right? Because I'm not the only one bitching about this. There's like whole Reddit threads about this and shit. And it's aggravating to me as a man when you think that I'm stupid because I'm not. All right. Like, and when it comes to our passions, we, we understand the difference between, you know, reality and real shit and garbage. We know the difference. And what you're producing is garbage. You can't just put a pretty bitch up and go, oh, man, you look, it's a pretty girl, guys. You know what I'm saying? Because it that this isn't going to get me to watch a show. I don't care about this. I watch shows with people who I hate on it, right? Like the flat, the fast lane trucks, right? And the fast lane, you know, YouTube or whatever. I hate those guys. Like I literally like I, I can't stand watching them. Dude. They're fucking horrible, right? They're Gen X garbage human beings who are completely phony in how they act. Right. You can tell like all of them, you know, like if they are that corny, then like, you know, they're worse than Ben Shapiro reading WAP. <laughs> like legitimately. But anyway, yo, look, 
It's about enough out of me. I'm Tom Pease of Pinoy News. Y'all enjoy your motherfucking week, man. Have a good week. I'll holla at you then. Peace.